JQH Arena. Starting lineups being introduced. It's Drake and Missouri State. We're in Springfield, Missouri. And a look at tonight's starting lineups, a presentation of Prairie Farms, dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk. And it's the same starting five on both sides for every game that they played in so far. First action for the first time in 23 days after dealing with an outbreak of COVID-19. And if you're Darren DeVries, you're hoping your team doesn't get too anxious early. Opening tip controlled by the Missouri State Bears. A socially distant crowd here at JQH Arena in Springfield. Man-to-man -man shown by the Bulldogs. Mosley got it picked. Will go the other way. Hempfell lays it up. No good. And the rebound into the hands of Harvey. And the second possession now for the Bears. Trying to go inside to Prim. And another turnover, so two possessions, two turnovers. So Missouri State playing a little bit anxious, too fast for conditions. I guess you would see that, wouldn't you, Coach, on both sides, both you know teams, kids anxious, get back out there to play. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're watching the other teams in the conference play. And, you know, Missouri State had a non-conference game last week, but it's not the same. 15 on the shot clock. This is Roman Penn. Try to feed it inside. That's a kick. Our officials tonight, Jerry Pollard, Gary Maxwell, and Roland Simmons. 11 on the shot clock, just underway here in Springfield. There's Darren DeVries, the third season at Drake. He's done an excellent job as the head coach of the Bulldogs. And Dana Ford on the other side in his third season as the head coach of Missouri State. Off the inbound, inside to Murphy. Good defensive stand here by Missouri State, but spinning inside for the first two is Darnell Brody, the junior. He's the aircraft carrier for this Drake team. Uh, there's a warning early for a flop. Prim felt the contact, hit the deck. The officials said, no, nah, you didn't get hit that hard. Don't see that call very often. Uh, they, they, uh, this is a very experienced crew. They're going to keep it tight early. Here's Prem. The free throw line. Takes it himself. Now doubled down on the block. Puts it back on the floor. The Bulldogs want a double team. It's a whistle, a stoppage in play, and we will get a foul before the travel. Let's go back to what you're talking about here, Coach. You don't see this called all that often, especially early. You can see Brody doesn't really lower the shoulder into him, but Prim, hey, I would do it. Yeah. I mean, you feel the contact from a, a guy who's 265 pounds? Hit the deck. Prim from the baseline, no good. Rebound Murphy. And Drake wants to push. A little hesitation. Penn. They'll go back inside. Those two big guys going at it. And the rebound into the hands of Gage Prem. That's going to be a fun matchup this yes. evening. They're letting him play a little bit, too. Ritter for three, and that's off the mark. Knocked out of bounds. Off the hands of Harvey, it looked like. But they're going to say it is a Missouri State basketball. Well, keep an eye early on the spacing for Missouri State. When Prim goes to that low block, you got four shooters on the perimeter, and it makes for a long run for defensive help. Mosley, tough shot, fade away, no good. Rebound Murphy. Here come the Bulldogs, one of five unbeatens thus far, still remaining in Division One basketball. That's too strong. Prim is second board. Nearly lost it, hands it off. Now Black in the front court. Picked up his dribble, swinging left side to Harvey. Harvey and a whistle on the floor before the bucket. They're going to call that on the floor. That's going to go against the Bulldogs. And they got Murphy for the call. Here's Prim off the inbound. Leans in and gets his first bucket of the night. This is the first time I've seen Gage Prim this year in person. And 
he has remade his body he sure again. Has. He is much leaner, stronger, quicker off his feet. Showing help there and leaning in, it's Roman Penn, the junior of the Calumet City, Illinois. So the Bulldogs with an early 4-2 lead on the road. It's back-to-back -back nights. We'll have Missouri State and Drake for you. He's got to get these games in. Prim from the right elbow, and he's got four for the Bears. Murphy hands it off. Himfell doubled. Leans in and an easy flush for Brody. Made basket, Drake trying to slow Missouri State down. Just a little nuisance press. Here's Prem, who was just pushed, no call. Mosley, floater, got it. That's a young man who's playing with a lot of confidence. Him fell the other way, and a whistle and a foul, and a stoppage in play. Mosley called for the foul. Let's go back to Prem. If Prim can make this elbow jumper, that is going to be a tough guard for Brody because he's not used to stepping all the way out, just daring Prim to shoot that. And that's one of the things that Prim has worked on his game in the offseason to expand his range. So Infill at the line, a 69% free throw shooter out of Gary, Indiana. His second, no good. Prim the rebound already his second of the night. We're tied up at six. Just about four minutes in. Black lets a three fly. Too strong. Hemphill the rebound. Drake wants to run. This is Penn. Good defense. Nice job by Missouri State. Getting back and being ready to play. Looking for the big man Brody again, and it rattles home. We're about, we're about four minutes in, Dan, and neither team really has made an effort to double the post. So we'll see as the game goes along if the post guys are scoring. We may see some double team action. Mosley, nice. The adjustment, the ball fake. And we're back tied up, 8-8. Eight, eight. Fun matchup tonight. Drake 13-0, Missouri State 9-1, two of the best teams in the Valley. So far for Drake, six of their eight points from Darnell Brody. Where's number 51 in blue for Drake? This is Penn. He'll try a three. Too strong. And again, Gage Prem is third board of the Knights. Mosley, body foul on the floor. That's going to go against Hemphill. Missouri State joined the Valley. They lead this all-time series. Really have dominated coach 44-18 in the all-time series. Mosley at the line. But the last three years yep. here in Springfield, Drake has won three times. Wait, I don't know about you. It's nice to see fans that aren't cutouts. Oh, it is true. They got about 2,000 people here, which is their limit. Yep. As you mentioned at the outset, all socially distanced. A couple of new bodies in for the Drake Bulldogs. This is Sturtz. Runs into trouble. Shot clock at 10 for the Bulldogs. That's no good. Ripped away, kept alive, Prem, but they step out of bounds. And a good effort there by Mosley, but stepped on the baseline. And there are a lot of reasons, Dan, why Drake has had such success. But two of the reasons have just stepped into the game, and that's Yesifu and Sturtz. Sturtz, who was a starter last year, coming off the bench, they have not only accepted their roles, they have excelled at their roles. And that's why... This is one of the best teams in the Missouri Valley. Coach, what do you think it's going to be like back-to-back? -back? And that's one of the ways the Valley has looked at trying to fit in the games in the schedule, understandably, why they do that. But 
We'll be back at it again tomorrow night. Do you think that plays into how you play your personnel tonight? Absolutely does. But, you know, Missouri State has three guys averaging over 30 minutes a game, Prim, Black, and, and Mosley. So they're going to get tested over the next 24 hours with two games. Rebound by Prim, handed off to Sharp in the lane, no good. And we'll go the other way. The second board by Brody. Wilkins in the lane, gives it up. He's wide open on the wing, found him late, no reset. Sturts, tough shot off the glass. Uh, the running hook, Garrett Sturts. Here's Prim. One on one underneath with the left hand and it altered by Brody. That's a fun matchup. You mentioned it earlier. It really is. The playoff Brody and he got it stripped away. Here's Harvey lays it up and in. It's a terrific defensive job by Harvey. He jumped the cutter. Twelve ten in favor of the Bears. Sturtz looking for his fourth point. Short. Missouri State wants to run. Great feed. Prim is there. Excellent feed by Mosley. Well, you see one guy whose advantage is his girth. That's Brody. You see another guy whose advantage is his speed up and down the floor. And Prim just outran him. Yesifu with it. There's Brody and Prim, and look at Prim just daring him, and he splashed it home. Uh, he said, you know what? You gave me that open 15-footer a couple of possessions ago. <laughs> I'll give you one. Let's see if it stays that way next possession. <laughs> Sharp kicks it out to the wing. Three up, no good. Prim the rebound. He's got five already. Gets it here, left elbow. Takes it inside, spinning, left hand, beautifully done, and the kiss off the glass. Everybody has talked so much about Isaiah Mosley, which he certainly deserves it. The gauge prim, he's this anchor on this team. Here's Yesifu, tough shot, answers on the baseline in his first bucket tonight. Prim wants it inside. He bounces out now to the elbow, has it. Bodied a bit, no call. Sharp in the lane, floater, got it. Both teams shooting above 60% here in this first half. Defense really hasn't been that bad, but they're taking good shots and they're knocking them down. Brody again. <laughs> well, now you're gonna have to try to go out there and guard him a little bit. Not exactly. The scouting report said, okay, give Brody that shot. Well, now we got to make the adjustment. Yep. Here's Prem. Against Brody in the lane. Ball fake. Steps through. Got it. What a first half for the big man. Oh, like a ballerina out there. Well, Brody has 10 for Drake. And Prem on the other side with 10. 2016, our score. Brody again, too strong. Mosley elevated to get the rebound, knocked out of bounds, and it's back to Missouri State. It's been entertaining back and forth, and the big men. Brim gets a much needed break, so he's on the bench already in double figures. 23rd time he's been in double figures for the Bears. Another 23rd straight game, he's done that. Another different defensive look for Drake as they pick up full court man to man. But again, just trying to test Missouri State, see if they get sloppy. Mosley might have been able to take that himself instead of a turnover. And we'll go back the other way. Murphy with it. Jackson on the floor. Sturts out there as well for the Bulldogs. And this is Murphy. Murphy. Ferguson down to seven on the shot clock. Sturts trying to find a little angle. A lane tough shot doesn't go. And the rebound to Mosley and a foul on Sturts. 
Dan, on that last possession, to your point, Mosley just put the ball on the rim. You got the big guy who's coming in for an offensive rebound. So even if you miss, Scott was there to pick up the miss, put it back in. In the hands of Lukai Patterson, the 6'1 freshman. He'll bring it up the floor for Missouri State and hands it off. Mosley, two defenders there for Drake and a foul against Roman Penn diving for that loose basketball. Some good sportsmanship between yep. Mosley and Penn. Mosley realized he was just hustling after the ball. I, I gotta think then back-to-back -back nights what that sportsmanship turns into. It can get kind of nasty, you know? You gotta, you gotta match up against the same guy the next night, same team. Some of that bitterness, nastiness carries over. It could be kind of fun. Stepping off the sideline there was Sharp. I can tell you one thing. If you're a player, you can't say to, to your coach, well, I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> when it's game two, yeah, right. only 24 hours later. <laughs> right. You better know the scouting report by then. C coach C, I, 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 I didn't get it. I, I didn't see it last night. Well, then go see the bench, son. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Got to do it better. Yeah. Penn to miss. Mosley spinning after the rebound on the other side for Missouri State. Nice back door and a flush. Beautifully done. Keaton Harvey. Murphy. Did he shuffle his feet? He certainly did. May have been a foul, but a travel before the contact. Dan, this is the Mosley effect. Watch all five Drake guys. They're all watching Mosley. It's ball watching. Good back cut by Hervey. And an easy basket on an unselfish play by Mosley. But when you got a great score like Mosley and your coach for Drake, you're telling your guys, hey, we got to stop him. We got to stop him. All of a sudden, all five guys are looking at him. Prim back in the game. That's sharp. Here's the freshman inside. How about that move? Lukai Patterson, young man out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. He's a big kid. He is giving them a lot of good minutes over the first 10 games. And here we go again with the two big men going head to head, Brody and Prim. Patterson will inbound for the Bears. Just over eight minutes to play here in our first half, and Drake picking up full court. They're trying to break that rhythm of Missouri State's offense and get them out of kilter, but they haven't been able to do it. Ritter for three, and that's a little shy of the goal, and will go back the other way. Penn trying to back in his man. Sharp, he does, but got it blocked by Prem. Gets it back. Here's Brody against Prim, spinning. No good. And the rebound to Jamonte Black. Prim, the catch inside. And he got it to drop. Could have been a chance at a three point play, but they let him play on. He's got the hands of Travis Kelsey catching it in traffic. So that's 12 now for Prim. Brody with 12 on the other side. Left hand runner, no good. Prim the rebound. Prim a big first half for the Bears. In the corner, three up. Too strong. And pin the rebound. We'll see three fresh bodies coming in for the Drake Bulldogs momentarily in the next stoppage. Under seven to play. Murphy for three, no. And Patterson has it, his second board of the night for the Bears. Prim. Baby hook, no. Got it on the block, at position, rattled in and out. And Dan, one of the things that Coach DeVries told me before the game he was worried about was their shooting. And you saw they score early in the paint, but on the perimeter they missed shots. Patterson, little give and go, and the finish by DeMarcus Sharp. And a timeout taken by Drake. 
And just like that, a ten I kind of went against my, my coaching thought for tonight's game. I thought, okay, let's talk about the perimeter guys first. Tomorrow, since we're doing that game, we'll talk about the inside guys. <laughs> but how about Brody and Prim? They're saying, hey, don't leave us out. Coach, you know, tomorrow then it'll be the uh, guys on the perimeter that light it up. <laughs> exactly. You know, just, that's the way it goes. Oh, that's true. Uh, Ritter, the rebound. There's Prem, ball fake, but stepped out of bounds. Also, a travel called underneath. But to your point you made earlier, you know, seeing his body, Prem, and you see it there, I mean, he is a different looking player physically than the one we saw a year ago. He really is, and he's so much quicker with that first step. He's increased his range, and everybody talks about guys like Crutwig and A.J. Green for Larry Bird Player of the Year. I'll tell you, Prem, Mosley. Those there he is, running the floor. Now they kick it out. That's Patterson. Ball fake. Floater. He's got four coming off the bench tonight for the Bears. Well done. But how about the uh, pass blocking by uh, Prim? Yeah. Opening up that lane. Prim the rebound. Big first half for the Bears. Just over five to play. Mosley. Oh, how sweet was that? Timeout taken, Drake. <laughs> Only Bear programs Division I era to reach that milestone. Pretty impressive. You think about it, they've had some pretty good players Ooh. come through here. Here's Brody. 32-18. Largest deficit of the season for Drake. Sturts picked up his dribble. Down to seven on the shot clock. Sturts in the lane. Got it. Needed that bucket. You can see why Sturts was the leading scorer in high school in the state of Iowa. Variety of shots. We'll profile the young man coming up at halftime. Here's Mosley. May have been fouled on the way up, but no call. Yes, a food. Lost it on the way up. Prim has it. Bears want to run. Here's Sharp. Hammered on the way up, and he'll shoot two. Missouri State at home away from home and sharp will go to the line a 73 percent free throw shooter to shoot a pair young man out of charleston missouri you think about the recruiting from missouri state and anytime you're a state school a coach talks about we got to close the borders keep the local guys home data ford has done an excellent job of doing that Sharp, Mosley, Black. He gets Ritter to return from Xavier. You start getting the best players in your own state. You can build a very good program here at Missouri State. There's Sturtz. Gave it up. And fell. Now a deep three. Wilkins no good. Elevating. that Sharp for the board. The junior out of Charleston, Missouri. Three up left side. And that's no good. And Brody the rebound. Phil and a foul substitution upcoming that'll be Penn coming back in the game halftime report a presentation of State Farm Insurance when you want the real deal like a good neighbor State Farm is there and that's coming up also a profile on Mr. Sturtz right there for the Drake Bulldogs as we talked about a moment ago one of the things Darren DeVries was worried about is when you practice, you try and simulate game situations. But when you haven't played in a game, you don't get the same rhythm on your shots. You may, you, you know, it's not about running. It's about 
being quick to a spot, getting your feet ready, getting ready to shoot it. I mean, a perfect example is Wilkins, a wide open look. He misses it. They're shooting 34% from the floor. Going to try and have to figure out how to get something going to the basket, maybe get some easy ones. There's Prem. Boy, what a job with his body to get position there on the block. He's had a huge first half. Prim with 14 of the 36 for Missouri State. Hemphill gets Renner. Short. Bounced around. Missouri State comes away with it. Here's Sharp. And Mosley throws it to nobody. Uh, Mosley and Black, high school teammates. Very rare for those two to miscommunicate. Looks over at Dana Ford and says, Coach, no excuse. Just a, I messed up. It happens. <laughs> There's the three from the head of the key. Roman Penn. The one thing about Roman Penn, he's going to do what his team needs to win a basketball game, whether it's assisting, whether it's taking a shot. Black for three. Jamonte Black, the sophomore out of Columbia, Missouri. Those are the first threes we've seen hit from both sides. Here's Hemphill inside the arc, off it. Bears want to run. Sharp somehow didn't travel. It stayed alive. Now they're just beating Drake down the floor. Even when Drake is back, they're not ready to play. Lead has jumped up to 15. Under two to play. Here's Brody. And got it. He's got 14. And a timeout taken by Missouri State. Dana Ford wants that timeout. Even though on that possession, the unselfishness did not pay off. Teammates at uh, Rockbridge High School in Columbia, Missouri. Mosley and Black, as Coach mentioned earlier. A little full court uh, picked up there by Drake and easily broken here by the Bears. So they'll get on their set with about 20 seconds on the shot clock. Ritter lets it fly. And it's in the hands of Brody. Brody, the pick for Wilkins, and that'll go against Mosley of the Bears. The head of the key. Drake has trailed at the half only once all season. Missouri State 9-0 when leading at the half, and they will go in with a halftime lead. It'll just... At this point, the question will be how big. Three up right side, no good. And Ritter called for the foul, trying to box out underneath against Hemphill. And it's his second personal. Hemphill knew where that ball was going. A little bit quicker and forced Ritter to hold him on that one. Patterson back in for Missouri State. I think you got to give Brody a touch on this if you can. He's got it there. They clear out. Now double. Looking for help. Brody with the left hand short. Good defense. A terrific defense by Prim and a great dig by Hervey to throw him off balance. And the Bears can play for the final shot here in the first half. And their fans that are here at JQH Arena on their feet, applauding the effort. Down to five. Lost the handle. It'll stay with Missouri State. Roman Penn still pleading his case to the official. Might have had it right, actually. I think he did. <laughs> Sturtz is back in for him, Phil. Plenty of time here, four seconds. 
Patterson inbounds. This is Sharp. Down to two. He doesn't realize there's only four seconds. And the first half comes to a close. No NBC team this year with a 10-day layoff has won its first game coming back. And Drake has got their work cut out for him here at the final 20 minutes of play. Coach Z, Dan McLaughlin with you. 41-26 in favor of Missouri State. And Drake will have the first possession. And you've got two teams who are facing different tests. Drake, how do you handle adversity? And Murphy called for the offensive foul. We've seen Drake handle success this year. They built leads and won by double digits. This is the first time that they will face adversity coming from behind. And then for Missouri State, how do you handle success? You got a big lead. Do you stay unselfish? Continue to take good shots? Continue to play good defense? We will see. So the Bears will have their first possession. Prim at a monster first half for Missouri State. He had 14, three up, left side, no good. And the rebound into the hands of Hemphill, the senior out of Gary, Indiana. Wants to take it coast to coast, spinning inside, left hand foul, late whistle on a call, and he'll shoot two. Good attack mode by Hemphill, but one of the things Drake is going to have to try and figure out is how can we create some easy shots for us because Missouri State doing an excellent job of getting back in transition and ready to play on a defensive end. Only well, we saw a total of eight free throw attempts in that first half. Drake was one for four, now two of five. Hemphill, the transfer from Green Bay out of Gary, Indiana. One of the good evaluation jobs by Darren DeVries and his staff in adding him to the mix. That whistle was on Hervey on the other side. His first personal as Prim throws it out of bounds. Dana Ford just leaning back in his chair and just shaking his head. You've been there, coach. Sometimes it's harder to play from the lead than it is to play from behind <laughs> because it's that fine line of just continuing to attack but not being in a hurry. Rebound inside and the putback, no good. That was Murphy and we'll go the other way. Well, that's one you got to have. It certainly is. You get an easy look. Got to convert. There's Prim. Not a black. Little back door and another turnover. This is very similar to the start that Missouri State had to the beginning of the game. Taken inside, rattles home for Roman Penn. Well, the question is, can Drake take advantage of it? They didn't take advantage of it in the first half. Let's see if they can string some baskets together if Missouri State continues to turn it over. 41-29. There's Prim. Hands it off. Mosley steps inside against Brody. No good. Brody with Prim battling. Brody wins that battle. He had 14, by the way, points in that first half. Career high for him. Easy two and a timeout taken by Dana Ford. And Drake feels it a little bit. Great timeout by Dana Ford. He feels the momentum. Be sure to download the Arch Madness app. Visit archmadness.com for details. Well, the last time an undefeated team visited Springfield was back in 2014. Wichita State was ranked number six. They forced OT. They won that game. It was the third largest crowd in this building. Well, they well, were also up 19 at ooh, one point. So coach. Missouri State fans really upset you brought that up. Yeah. Drake fans, thank you, Dan. <laughs> Long from over. <laughs> Just about three minutes in. Here's Prim. And that'll be a foul on Brody with a push. And he's shaking his head, saying, yep, that's on me. I, that's a good call. I mentioned it earlier, very good veteran efficient, officiating crew here. Jerry Pollard, Gary Maxwell, and Roland Simmons. Yeah, they have done a great job in the first half. I can't believe I'm saying that as an ex-coach. <laughs> they really did. That was number two on Brody. Prim going right back at him again, and two blocks on that possession. And the Bulldogs, a chance to cut this to single digits. 
Here's Penn on the baseline. Penfill in the lane, no. And the rebound to Mosley. It's a good look by Hemphill. Kick to the corner. There's Black. Now to Sharp. He'll try a three. In and out. Inside Herbie. No. Prim. Yes. 16 for Prim. Just the stick to itivity of Prim. Then gives it up. Not a him fell. That's off a of pick. Wilkins. Murphy to Brody. You thought about it. Down to four on the shot clock. Wilkins. Tough shot. Beat the clock. Missouri State wants to run. Mosley. One on three. Takes it in. And they'll call a foul on the floor. Dan, that all starts at this end with guys paying attention to the personnel on the scouting report. They know Wilkins is going to try and go over a screen to get himself open for a three. Missouri State, excellent job, Hervey, of getting over the top, never giving him a look, making him put it on the floor. The tough shot creates an open transition. Four minutes into the second half. Sharp. Fading away, no. Prim had a hand on it. Drake with numbers. If they hurry, pin right around his man. Wow. A little crossover in the finish. Feel like he was in cement shoes the way he went around him. Wow. Got to lead again to 10. Just hanging around. Prim from the left elbow rattles out. Brody the rebound. Brody now with eight boards, and there's a block for Prim, his second of the night. Kick it out, Murphy, open look for three. No. Tipped, and an easy two. The flush inside. And that was Hemphill. Dana Ford is saying, why tip that? Go up and grab it. Uh, he didn't think that he could get his other arm up, but paid off for Drake. Because if he was hurt, there would be like three trainers all around him. Maybe a massage therapist, the chiropractor, everybody. 16 and 12 tonight. Missouri State, they shot 60% in the first half. They have begun the second half one for nine. You got to get the ball to Mosley and try and space the floor. Let him create. Probably not the shot you're looking for there. And a foul picked up against Missouri State. That'll go against Hervey. Largest lead has been 17, and that's been cut into to eight here in this second half. Missouri Valley Conference presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to a Grinnell Mutual agent today and a look at the scoreboard and a look ahead to tomorrow. We'll be back with you tomorrow with Drake and Missouri State. Indiana State gets the sweep over Southern Illinois. Frank Lansing has the Sycamores playing very well. Been doing that for 13 years now. Hemphill got it to fall. And the lead is cut to six after a 17 point lead at one point in the first half for Missouri State. Here's Sharp. Got it. They needed that bucket. Huge basket. Don't settle for a jump shot. Get it going to the rim. Yes, a fool. A wild shot. Hits the floor on the baseline, slow to get up. Here's Murphy, leans in, in the paint, banks it home. Not sure he meant to bank it, but uh, took out the debit card. Yeah. It all counts as two tomorrow morning. Coach, that's when you're on the sideline going, no, oh. Yeah, all right, guys, here's what we're going to do now. Or if you're the opposing coach, you're thinking, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be one of those nights. Maybe turning into one of those halves here for Missouri State. Lead at six. Here's Sharp. Off the hands of Darian Scott, the junior out of Vegas. And will they say it is Missouri State ball, I guess. And Prim coming back in. 
And there's a case, Dan, right there where, where Yesifu had an opportunity to grab the ball, but he thought for sure it was going to be Drake Ball. Well, don't trust the officials. If you can make a play on the ball, go get it. Patterson is checked back in along with Prim. Mosley was trying to get position on the inbound. Here's Prim back in. Short. Brody the rebound. Good defense by Brody moving his feet. Hit the deck and slow to rejoin the play. And there he is with the basketball. Seven on the clock. Yesifu the three. It drops. And Drake all of a sudden has cut this lead to three. That was good defense by Missouri State. Yesifu just made a great play. And Patterson the other way. Drake trying to stay undefeated to begin this 2020-21 campaign. They come in at 13-0 and, and Hemphill fighting through the pick. And he'll be called for the foul. What, what are you seeing, Coach, with Missouri State and their offense and why they can't get it going? Well, right now, they they're aren't getting to a point where you space and get Mosley on a wing or get into, into Prim. Now, watch Mosley on this ball screen. Great job of closing the gap, forcing Hemphill to foul. That's an experienced play by Mosley. But what I'm talking about, Dan, is too many times... Mosley's trying to make the play from directly out front. Get him on a swing where he's on a wing, and it makes it harder for the defense to help out. There's Patterson. Ball loose. Stripped. Patterson got it back in the lane. Threw it away. You can just see they're, they're just out of sync right now. It is the definition of discombobulated. Yes. Yeah. Patterson looking for... Prim, Prim getting offensive rebounding position. Just got to get it up on the rim, young man. The three would tie it up for Drake at one point down by 17. Yes, Afu, the floater in the lane. No, hit out of bounds. Missouri State basketball with 12.04 to play. We knew that Drake would make a run. I mean, this is an experienced team. The, the average age for is over 21 years old i mean they're they're older than some nba teams but so you know when you have that type of experience you don't panic there's patterson up the floor got it stripped and patterson called for the foul As coach said, we are waiting for a run by Drake, and we've gotten it. Neighbor State Farm is there. Lead at three for the Bears. And Drake has just turned up the defense here in the second half. Mm. Yes, a fool right in and out of the hands. 16 to four, the Bulldogs have outscored the Bears here in this second half. And they have done it on the defensive end. Mosley leans in and a foul on the floor. It'll go against Hemphill. How about Roman Penn? He set up the freshman, the fifth-year senior. He knew exactly what he was going to do as soon as he crossed half court. Roman Penn doing his Walt Frazier impersonation. Just pickpocket him. I wonder if he dresses like him. And then he would be a very snazzy dresser. I'll tell you what, man. As it were. Now, he could dress. Oh, what a terrific player. Oh. Incredible. There's Mosley. Brody and Prim both have double-doubles. And, boy, did Missouri State need that. Mosley knocks it down. Lead at five. Here's Penn to Brody. He'll step out of the lane. That's his first ever double-double. 
Yesifu guarded by Patterson. Good defense here. Shot clock at seven. Here's Penn. Penn in the lane. Tough shot. Won't fall. Mosley rips it away. Lead at five. Mosley. They let him play, and it's off the glass. Mosley just too strong for Sturtz. His possession, but I will tell you this, Dan. Mosley got bumped as well, so the officials are being consistent. As a coach, you don't care if they're good or they're bad, but you definitely want officials to be consistent. They have been done, and they have been that here tonight. Yesifu to Roman Penn. Prim helping out. Brody there with a the pick. Trying to get it back and we'll get a foul. Black, tremendous effort on Penn. So Jamonte Black called for the foul. 20 put back on the shot clock. 10 22 to play in our ball game. Brody to Penn. Penn against Prim. Nice look, ball fake up, and a foul, and that'll go against Prim. He knew it. And he's shaking up a bit. He says he's all right. Heads up play there by Garrett Sturtz, 85% free throw shooter. Saw his feature in the halftime from Newton, Iowa. You talked about coach, great high school career. Comes to Drake as a walk-on, now a scholarship player. It's a guy who believed in himself. He is so good at moving without the basketball. He's the back cut assassin. Clear out for Patterson, he'll bring it up the floor. And Patterson gives it up to Isaiah Mosley. Prim, the pick out top. Mosley using that. Lost it. Now numbers. Sturtz is there. Yesifu. Sturtz leans in and gets it to fall off the glass. Cuts the lead to three. That Full turnover. court pressure again. And then that turnover again came from a drive from the top of the key. Easy to help on a drive from the top of the key. Get the ball on the wing, it's a little bit harder. There's Mosley. Now picked up his dribble to Prem. Prem with the left hand. Oh, it did everything but go down. He's had a fairly quiet second half after 14 in the first half. Penn gets a pick. Eyes up at three. Knocks it down. And with that, we are tied up at 49. Drake at one point down by 17. They've now tied it up. 49 all. That's what makes Roman Penn so dangerous. He can go to the rim. He can shoot the three. And Mosley couldn't get that to go. Open in the corner, but Penn takes it himself. And Count a chance at a three-point play. And the Bulldogs are back on top. Dan, in that first half, it was all inside players. Here in the second half, Roman Penn showing how he can beat you in so many ways. Go under the ball screen, he buries the three. In transition, he's going to get to the rim. The judicious use of his left hand. The first lead for Drake since they led eight to six. And the lead sits at two. This is Hervey. Lost it on the way up. Brody called for the foul. I believe that is number three for Darnell Brody. And it is.
So Keaton Hervey at the line, 71% free throw shooter. It's the first. Now to Cedar Park, Texas, the 6'7 junior. Nate Ferguson is in for Drake. Jamal Murphy also in, the senior out of Griffith, Indiana. Prim will take a seat for Missouri State. And this for the tie. And he's got it. 51 all with under eight and a half to play. Drake trying to stay undefeated. Nice look to Ferguson, but a foul on the floor. Pretty impressive, Coach. First action, first time, 23 days for the Bulldogs of Drake. That's 23 days. When you look at that first half, it was almost like they were trying to scrape off the rust yeah. in their lungs because they were just slow up and down the floor. But I don't know what Coach DeVries said to him at halftime, but it definitely has sparked this Drake team. Yes, a food to inbound, but a kick. It was the kick by Darian Scott. Number 25 there of Missouri State. Wilkins to inbound, the junior out of Maryville, Indiana. Tied up 51 all with 8.17 to play. Wilkins, no good. And the rebound to Sharp. Bears want to run. Mosley got it blocked. Inside. Kept alive. And Drake has it. Great effort. Murphy now at the head of the key. Hands it back to Wilkins. Man to man again. This has been the case all night for Missouri State. 12 on the shot clock. Wilkins double team. Finds Sturts and a whistle and a foul. It'll send Sturts to the line. He's already knocked down a pair and one of the best free throw shooters in the Valley. So 2-2 two two from the free throw line. 85% free throw shooter. 7.39 to go and for the lead. Eyes it up and splashed it home. Two of two. Sturts out. Hemphill back in. So lead back at two for Drake. And a turnover off the inbound. That will give you gray hair if you're Dana Ford. Wilkins, stand by for Drake. This crowd just under 2,000 tonight. JQH Arena. It's gotten quiet now. Penn. Inside. Prim showing some help. Elevating above the defense is Hemphill and hit it. Four point lead. Hemphill plays so much bigger than his size. Great use of both hands. Herbie with it at the head of the key. Kick it right side. Leaning in, lost it on the way up. That was sharp. And Brody has the rebound. Hem fell all the way in. Tied up, jump ball, possession arrow. And that will go back to Missouri State. I was a little surprised that Hemphill continued. No numbers, one on three, but was able to weave his way in. Got a good look at it. So under seven to play. Four point lead. Got to get Prim a touch in the low post if you can. 
There's Mosley against Hemphill. Steps through, couldn't finish. Prem got the board, back up, got it blocked. Battling inside. Arno Brody just getting screened out. Prim, good offense rebound position. I got to tell you, that was a good call by the official. A lot right. of ball. Now Penn, hesitation, bumped. Then a go against Sharp. Fans don't like it. Drake's largest comeback in program history was a 19-point comeback against Evansville in February of 2005. They won that night in overtime, and tonight they trailed at one point by 17. So this would be one of their largest comebacks in school history, if they can hold on. It's a terrific of halftime adjustments by Darren DeVries. Settled his team down, got him playing harder on the defensive end. How about Roman Penn, the young man from Northwest Indiana? Kept that pipeline going. Started by Dolph Pulliam. Yep. 1965. Part of that Drake Final Four team. Lead is at five. I'm with you, Coach. I think Prim's got to get a touch. Get him going. He really does. Get a two-man game maybe with Mosley and Prim. Hands it off to Black. Sharp. Under 10 on the shot clock. Here is Prim. Mosley will try the three. That's no good. The credit Darnell Brody. He's doing an excellent job on Prim, not allowing him to get to the low block. Yeah, you know, the other aspect, too, if you go to Prim, Brody's got three fouls. Exactly. Get the big fella out of there. Yep. Mosley, the miss, picks it up. Now to Black, he'll try a three. Nope, and there's Brody with the board. Double-double tonight. Here's Hemphill, picked by Brody. Hemphill in the lane, no. Elevating to get his own board, and they let him play. And that'll be a foul on Hemphill. The fans are saying, finally, huh? Yeah, they wanted a foul on the rebound. I think Hemphill just jumped over the top of him. Didn't really hit him. But he bumps him 94 feet from the basket. A little anxious by that young man, but I'd say he's a competitor. Next telecast. Presentation of Live by Low St. Louis will be Saturday, January 30th. And the Salukis play Northern Iowa. Coverage begins at 3. One experience, laid-back luxury in the heart of downtown St. Louis, adjacent to Ballpark Village. Visit Live by Lowe's. Hotels.com slash Live by Lowe's St. Louis, Missouri to book your hotel room today. Fans trying to get him back going. Lead at 3. Drake's trying to stay undefeated to go to 14 and 0, under five to play. The floater, Murphy, no, Prem the rebound, rips it away from his own teammates. Lead at three. Here's Sharp, gets a lane, finds a seam, gets fouled. Would they call that on Dan? The big guy. That's number four. Before you think about this league with Drake, Loyola, Bradley, the way these guys are playing and the way that this season unfolding in college basketball very well could be beyond a one big league for the Missouri Valley Conference. Time will tell. And you forgot about perhaps one of the hotter teams in the league, Indiana State, coming off Absolutely. a couple of sweeps. But we talked about that before the next couple of weeks depending on what Drake does here in these two Missouri State as well schedule
favorable for Missouri State with the way that this lines up now because of the disruption in the season to have these home games against some of the better teams in the conference. You got to take advantage of home yep. court advantage and for the first time we're hearing fans. There's your guy again finding that seam Sturts couldn't get it to fall open look pen for three too strong loose underneath Sturts is there again and fouled and he'll shoot two. How does he always end up with the ball Dan? <laughs> oh, there'll be people waiting in line to get in this arena. So Sturts at the free throw line. A rare miss from the junior. Well, Sturts an 85% free throw shooter. And we didn't even give him the announcer's jinx. No, that was all on his own. <laughs> <laughs> so lead at four with under four to play. Full court pressure here by the Bulldogs. Mosley looking for help. Gives it into the double team. And it's kept alive, Missouri State. Can they break it in 10? They do. Now the number is sharp. Ooh, skin in their teeth. Mosley to Prem. Prem. That's a mismatch there. Leans in, fouled, and the big man hits the deck. A great call by Dana Ford coming out of that timeout. As you say, he knew that Prim had a mismatch with Ferguson. Got to go right at him. Boy, this young man has played hard tonight. And had a big game at a huge first half. Prim, a 69% free throw shooter. The senior out of Aurora, Colorado. Eyes it up. Knocks it down. Got to lead at three. Sturts out. Ferguson out for Drake. And Brody back in for the Drake Bulldogs. 17 points, 16 boards for Prem. Got it. Lead at two. 327 to play. And they're making some noise. Penn kicks it out. Murphy now back to Penn. Ten on the shot clock. Just over three to play. Penn for three. Got it. Uh, Huge Roman three Penn. for the Bulldogs. What a terrific read on the ball screen. You go under, take the three. And Prem right away says, give it to me. Go after Brody. And did they throw it away? No, it's knocked out of bounds. Hemphill had a hand on it. Let's go back to Penn and the three. Watch Penn read the screen. He's going to get hung up on it. And when he decides to go under, that gives Penn just enough room to knock that down. Here's, Gotta go right back to Prim. Here's Black, leans in off the glass, too strong, and Drake pulls it away with 2.30 to play and a five-point lead. I'll take that shot if I'm Dana Ford. You get it right at the rim. If that comes off a little softer, Prim has an offensive rebound. Absolutely. This is Murphy for three. No, loose. And a reset of the shot clock and a huge offensive board now for the Bulldogs. The two-minute mark approaching. Five-point lead. They can stretch this possession out. It's down to eight seconds. Stepping out was Mosley. Penn again for three. No. Missouri State. And Sharp. Don't settle. Prim is there. They want to go to him. It's hit out of bounds. 144 to go and a five-point Drake lead. I like that look by Mosley. And not giving them any easy looks. So it does stay with the Bears. 144 to play. Off the inbound now to Prim. Mosley 
Floater, no, tipped, kept alive. Back to him, open look for three, Mosley, too strong. And the rebound by Murphy, one of the biggest of the night for the Bulldogs. Boy, did he get a good look, Dan, after a great hustle play. Usually the basketball gods reward you on that. Sure. And so they can extend the possession under 15 on the shot clock, 115 to play. Maybe get Roman Penn in a ball screen situation again. So Penn kicks it out, gets it back. He'll try a three, no, loose. The put back is good, Hemphill. That second shot that we talked about. And now Missouri State has got to hurry things up a little bit here. You don't need a three if you can get something going to the basket quickly. Mosley almost lost it, and Penn is going to be whistled for the foul. He's slow to get back up. 48.3 seconds to go with a lead of seven in favor of Drake. Go back to the last bucket for the Bulldogs. This was good defense by Mosley, but Brody keeps it alive, and Hemphill go into the offensive glass. If your mindset is go every time the ball is shot, the odds are you're going to get a couple of those. So Mosley hits the first. A terrific free throw shooter. He came in 63 for 70 to start a play tonight. That's 90%. And the next one, no good. One for two. And you got to start thinking about fouling right away, don't you, coach? And with that, Hervey fouls Brody. Brody only had six free throw attempts. Think about that for a big man. Six free throw attempts coming into this game. Then when I got the stats from from Ty Patton, the sports information director from Drake, I looked at it, and then I went on their website because I thought, he sent me, he sent me last year's <laughs> stats, or, or maybe after the first couple of games. Your five man's only taken six free throws? It's amazing. Incredible. And you see how he's played physical tonight. He's had a big game. He's got a double-double. And he came in to this ball game two for six from the free throw line in 13 games. Now that is hard to imagine. That really is. It's the first. Looked like a pretty good free throw shooter on that stroke. And that's a big one there. That's now a seven-point lead. So really your three possession with 42.6 to go. Got to get it to the rim real quick if you're Missouri State. Or if you have a quick three-point shot play, you go to that. Here's Mosley, gets a pick going at Brody and lays it up and in. Smart play by Brody. Stepping away, avoiding the contact. So your lead now. The inbound will be Murphy. As you said, he can run the baseline, moved a little bit. Quickly, they move it up the floor. This is Sturts. They want it in his hands. I mean, he's an outstanding free throw shooter. But let me ask you this, Coach. He's got numbers there if he wanted. He's got a two-on-one easily. But you pull it back, don't you? Time score and situation. Yeah. You're up. Space the floor. You don't, even if they score, the clock stops. Make the clock run. The clock is your friend right now. So Sturtz at the line. Hits the first. If Sturtz makes this second one, look for Drake to put on a little bit of three-quarter -quart, pressure. Just make Missouri State work up the floor and burn some time. Remarkable comeback by the Bulldogs of Drake down at 1.17. Black for three, no. There's Sharp, he'll try the three, got it. 17 seconds to play. And immediately the foul, 15.9 to go. Jamonte Black called for the foul. Players of the game presentation is State Farm. 
when you want the real deal like a good neighbor state farm is there and we talked about it first half big for both the big men brody and brim it starts inside out for these two teams brim with a double double brody with a excuse me with a career high he's going to get a rest on the sidelines save him for tomorrow night quick turnaround Love get it. back at it again tomorrow coaches will go back to look at the film make some adjustments get guys recuperated ready to go they're sharp now to black six seconds lets it fly that's no good and how about the drake bulldogs they come in here their first action for the first time in 23 days down by 17 and for the first time in